Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 11 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. There, we look at this system. We have a battery. Its EMF is at 12 volts. Terminal voltage is 11.8 volts. And then, this battery connected two light bulbs in parallel, right? You can see this one and this one. And for each light bulb, the power is 4 watts at 12, or at the, the power is 4 watt at 12 volts. Ask you, what is the battery's internal resistance? The first step, we can list all the given quantities. You can see EMF is given, terminal voltage is given, and the power for each light bulb is given, and the standard voltage is for light bulb is given as 12 volts, right? Ask you the internal internal resistance for battery, this is small r. So how can we do that? We can see in our test book, the function can connect it as the terminal voltage EMF with the internal resistance is this one, right? We can see the terminal voltage equal to EMF just minus the current times r, correct? Yes. And you can see the VAB, this uh, terminal voltage is given, the epsilon is given, we need to find R, but there we don't, need, we don't know the current, right, we don't know the current. It looks the, if we want to know R, we must know the current I at the initial. Mm -hmm. So how can we do that? It's so easy. We can see in this circuit, we know the terminal voltage is AB. And then it connected with two light bulbs in parallel, right? So we can see the VAB, this terminal voltage, equal to the current times the equivalent resistance for these two light bulbs. Agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. The next step is to look at the equivalent resistance. As there, the keyword tells you this is a parallel connection two light bulbs parallel connection. So you can get this function to get the equivalent equivalent resistance for this part, right? For these two light bulbs. Mm -hmm. And then looks like next step, you need to know the resistance for each light bulb. Very straightforward, because it's a power equal to the voltage square divided by the resistance, right? Yes, now it looks like we follow this line and we solve it. So we come back. So from there, we need to know the resistance for each light bulb from this function. You just input all the given quantity, get it is at 36 ohms. Then for each light bulb, the resistance is 36 ohms, and then we connect these two light bulbs in parallel. The equivalent resistance equal to this function, right? It becomes 18 ohms. Now, as we know, the terminal voltage is 11.8 volts, and there's a equivalent resistance as 18 ohms. So the current as the terminal voltage divided by equivalent resistance, we can get the function at zero. Agree? Yes. Now you can see we can input the current I in the this function, the initial function. And then we get the function for R, internal resistance. Look at the here, right? And then we can input all the given quantities as epsilon, V, A, B. This is the terminal voltages and R get the final answer there. Thank you.